Welcome back to My Plug Life, and let's talk about the charge apocalypse happening here in BC. Now, up until this point, BC Hydro has been installing fast chargers all over the province in preparation for the electric revolution, but now they decided May 1st to put a charge on it. This has changed the situation now where you go to these public chargers, and instead of them being full with lineups, they're now basically ghost towns as people are reconsidering the charging situation. Now, DC fast chargers, they should be used for road trips or if you really had to get a charge quickly, uh, they shouldn't be used all the time. Actually, you should be doing home charging even 99% of the time. Very rare occasions should you be using a DC fast charger. Uh, and by using it as much as we were, it wasn't available for the people that actually needed it to even get home. People were just charging just because they could. So how does this affect us? Now, if you had an electric vehicle previous to this, uh, you have been having these charging stations for free and maybe that changes your situation. And there's some people that are a little bit upset about this. And even people bought electric vehicles with the assumption they could get free power. But we all know you don't get free stuff forever, right? Now, new owners are coming into the market and they don't have this preconception. So they're not thinking about that. Their concern about is where to charge, how much and what have you and setting up the apps. Um, so it, for them, they're kind of on a blank slate for that. But the charging situation, the number of stations available is quite a lot more than it used to be. So for them, it's not so bad. So how much is it going to cost us though? So BC Hydro is starting off at 21 cents a minute. This is on a 50 kilowatt charger, uh, which is about $6.30 for a half hour, which translates into about 150, 200 kilometers in that time. Uh, it might go up or down a little bit depending on the situation that you're in. Uh, PC, uh, Petro Canada and Electrify Canada have been doing this for a little while now and they've been charging 27 cents a minute. And to put into context, Tesla uh, with their Tesla specific ones have been doing 22 cents a minute or 44 cents a minute uh, if you had a, a lot more power that was able to go into the vehicle at the time. Now, in addition to that, we also have the cost of setting this thing up. Uh, companies have a big upfront cost and they pay a different rate for electricity than you or I. So let's talk about breaking even here for these companies. So first of all, uh, a few assumptions here. Now, 60% usage is about six hours a day. Now, if you had more than 60% usage, you'd have fist fights and complaints to the company all the time. So we'd have to use that as a baseline for this. And you'd have to run this for say five years and you'd have to charge 26 cents a minute in order to break even over those five years. So it's a long period of time and BC Hydro is charging 21 cents a minute. So you have a competition there where a company isn't gonna come into the market if they're not gonna make money compared to BC Hydro, right? You'd have to be in a situation where they're gonna make money in some other way, like a gas station does where you can go inside and buy your chips and pop and whatever, right? Heck, you're there for half an hour, you could have a little restaurant or a coffee shop on the side. Might work, right? Now, like I said earlier, DC fast charging is not supposed to use, be used often. Uh, it will do some slight damage to the battery. Um, it isn't good long term, uh, and it really should only be used if you're on a road trip. So having that cost on it means your people are charging at home, hopefully a lot more often, leaving it available to you and I who want to go on a road trip with our electric vehicle and enjoy the weather. Anyways, thank you very much for checking out this video today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.